Good morning, brothers and sisters. I had this uh, inquiry. Um, so somebody was inquiring on a, a scripture uh, here in uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So, uh, I believe what he was, whoever it was that sent me this scripture was inferring that uh, it was God's desire that all men uh, be saved. That was his desire. <clears throat> I mean, anyway, I brought, you know, I, haven't, I haven't taken on this scripture, and so I thought I'd just take a minute. But first, you have one to lay down a foundation for. All I can tell you is what I believe it means, you know. I realize there's uh, certain places in Scripture that seem to be contradictory. But what you have to look at here first is, are we going to take, let's just say there was a, somebody snatched somebody's purse and an old man like me with poor eyesight witnessed it, but it was across a dark alley over there, and we wanted to put that man in there and find the one that did it. And uh, so we take a, a uh, we take, but then there, you know, he says, yeah, I saw it, it was that man right there. He snatched that old lady's purse. Well, then uh, you have 20 witnesses in broad daylight, close up, with good eyesight that say, no, this man did it. They come into a court of law and say, this man did it. Which one are you going to take? So you see, what we're faced here with is uh, plain logic. You know, what do, what do we do? You know, not to mention we should, we should follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. But in this particular instance, you know, I can only tell you what I think. But first, I'm going to tell you what I what, tell you why it can't be uh, all men. Say, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why I believe it can't mean what you think it's mean. Say, what it can't. First, you have to know what it can't mean, and or it means something else. So you don't have to be forced into deciding on it. A lot of people don't want you to force into deciding what does that mean. You know, let's put you in a corner. You know, when you then you get out there and you might say something you really don't. You know, you don't know. So I'm just going to say what I. I believe, you know, I believe it's talking about something else. You know, I believe that's what it's talking about. I don't believe he desires the uh, the salvation of all men. The reason I believe it is uh, you have so many 20 witnesses over here that, that say, uh, and this is uh, Jesus talking. See, Paul's talking over here about a certain situation, you know, you know. And uh, I believe he's talking about, you know, all men in, in general, you know, Jew, Gentile, every kindred, every tongue. That's what I think I believe. And, and uh, I think that's what he's talking about. I don't think he's talking about all men because you have over here another place that says, here's what Jesus says about it. Here's another all that you might want to consider studying. All the Father gives me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. There's an all, and it's a specific all, and it's, and it's in red, given the words of Jesus. Say, all the Father gives me shall come to me. And then down below it, here's another all. And this is the will of him which has sent me, that of all which he hath given me I shall lose nothing. So there's another all say. So that's a, an explicit all. That's an explicit all. Over here, Paul's talking to a certain situation. And I believe, in my personal opinion, he's talking about uh, uh, all men in general, you know, Jew, Gentile, all the nations of the earth, you know. And, uh, but, uh, 
here is talking about it specific. All the Father gives Jesus. That's a, that's a certain amount of people. And we and uh, here's another all. Who is the say in First Timothy four nine wrote you? This is a faithful saying and worthy of acceptation. For therefore he both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially to those that believe. In this passage, here's another all men. Does that mean he wants... Uh, uh, to me, that means uh, all men. If, any, if anybody's saved, it's going to be God that saves them, say. All men. In my opinion on that one. And there's a special salvation to those that believe, you know, that know that Jesus Christ died for their sin. But he's the Savior. If anybody gets saved, he's the Savior of all men. But this thing, I just thought I'd come and try to tackle this in a... You know, might not have done too good a job, of it, but uh, in the scripture, you know, you can, uh, there's plenty of places. I know there are that, that uh, the people that believe otherwise will throw up to you. But that's kind of like, you know, they, like I say, they have to wade through all these other verses to get to those verses to fit the way that, uh, that they think. Say. But in my opinion, on this verse, and in any other verse you might find, you have to uh, follow uh, what it can't mean. And it can't mean the, that God desires the salvation of all men, but he can't, you know, he does, he does whatever he will in the army of heaven. In Ephesians 1, it says, uh, uh, let's see, Ephesians 1. Let me look it up. I don't know if I can find it. Ephesians 1. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. In whom we have obtained an inheritance. In whom we have obtained an, an inheritance, being predestinated in accordance with the purpose of Him that worketh all things after the counsel of His own will. So He's working everything. Everything that happens, He's working it out to to for His own will. Say. So uh, if he willed all men to be saved, they all would be saved. So you can't just throw logic out the door. You have to, you have to uh, rightly divide God's written account. But look, if there wasn't, a, if we didn't even have a, a if, if we didn't have a written account, in which we didn't really, you know, that much, the 1611, but if, you, if we didn't have a written account, God would still have people because it's done through the through the through His Holy Spirit. You can go all over the world right now, and people will will, will know. They'll have knowledge. They never had any, you know, any uh, written account of Scripture. And they know because the Holy Spirit's always uh, had a people. You know, God's always had a people that knew right from wrong. They had a conscience. So, and that's what holds societies together now, is that, that men know that it's uh, wrong to murder, to kill, is, uh, to steal. They know it. They might not always do it, but they know it because God has uh, written it in their hearts. And uh, that's my view on the matter. That's what holds uh, everything together. God uh, places that knowledge within his people's heart. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling now, but I, was, I thought I had, you know, I saw where about somebody put that out there, and I thought I would just say something about it. Did I? No, you have to just abandon every bit of logic and everything to go that route, because... If he desires all men to be saved, all men would be saved. But he said all the Father gave him is going to come to him. He's going to get all that's coming to him, you know. And uh, he sees the travail of his soul and he's satisfied. That tells me that there's going to be a lot of folk that we don't even think are going to be there in, in the world to come. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you I, I had been putting it off and so I just went ahead and put that down that uh uh, now uh, you have to take the witness of a of a 
an old blind man like me, and, that, and, and there were 20 witnesses that, that are real clo- were, have a real clear uh, view of mine. So Jesus wrote these words, and, and, and uh, that other is talking about something else, or it's talking about, uh, it's either talking about something else, or, or it means something else, you know. Or, and you know what it can't mean. You can just stop right there and say, well, I, know, I don't know what that means, but I know what it can't mean. Because you're going to run up on a lot of what it can't means in the Scripture if you study it. So uh, that's my view on the matter today. And uh, uh, nice talking to y'all down here in Alabama. And uh, uh, this is Doug White. And y'all have a nice day. <laughs>